Hola, buenas. Ah, ah, perdón. La, oh, una aclaración. La presentación va a ser realizada en inglés. Sí, así que si alguno de los so presentes necesita, obviamente para la gente que está de manera remota, va a ser simple porque online, si no hay que cambiar el canal, simple, pero para la gente que está presencial, si alguno desea, puede acercarse a buscar un audífono. Yo, yo me voy a presentar en español eh, y luego. I'm going to introduce myself in Spanish and then my colleague and the presentation will be in English. Uh, I'm Diego Dominguez. I've worked in Meta for five years and I'm responsible for implementing our CDN capacities with peering and caches in uh, the Americas region. Hi, I'm, from, I'm Jenny Ramsay. So, I'm from Boston. I work for Meta. Um, I work on the team that's been doing a lot of the tooling for, tooling for, all, of tooling for all of our networking today. So we're going to tell you a little, tell you a little bit about what we've done. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. So, so let's see. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. There we go. There so we this is what we're going to be, talking, gonna be about talking about. It's just how we handle, how we handle peering, peering um, configuration, um, configuration requests from, 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 from the buyers that, that, that want to have Meta. peering with Meta. How we used to how do, we used to do it how and we how we do it last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bueno, bueno. Eh, antes, eh, de antes de lo que mostré, 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 But about what about one hundred of them were actual peering requests. We are we are a large, large, large number of internet exchange points. You can see, and we have a very large number of bilateral bilateral peering sessions through IX through IXs. So that represented a lot of money for us. For us, we're looking at emails, the manual, the manual, using templates to answer those questions or questions or sending notifications, allocations, or configuration. And it wasn't quite it wasn't quite optimal that we're still that we're operating at. Uh, this is uh, this is the timeline, timeline of the history of the money. You know, so we're receiving, we're receiving the, the, on the X on the X axis, axis is the month. Uh, even though you, you cannot see it, you cannot see it. That, that dip, dip, dip over there, over is there is what happened? What happened after, after we changed, changed how we how we uh, process uh, process email request email request email request, request, email request over email. Uh, what we really, uh, what we really to wanted to do is to make it easier, make it easier for us easier to manage the large, large, large amount of requests that we're receiving, receiving, and receiving and the emails that, that were coming in. We thought it was not quite, it was not quite the, best solution, the best solution for us. And we wanted, and to, we make wanted it to make it easier for everyone at Meta and, and meta also for every one of our partners, of our, partners our internet providers that want to appear with us. And what did we do? Thanks, Diego. Thanks, Diego. Sorry, sorry. So we automated. So we automated it. We made it so we made that it so the handling, handling of peering at mailbox, mailbox be done, be done automatic. automatically. So let's take so a let's take a look at how we did it. So first so off, first we off, had to make a page, page where peers, where peers, could, peers come could come to request peering, request with, peering us, with us um, without, um, without sending us an email. So this is so the page on Facebook.com/peering. If you see at the top, see at the top um, we've got um, the we've got the facts about meta, meta we've got meta, our we've hearing, got policy. hearing policy, and then if you look then at if you look at the upper right over there, right over there you can see that you, you don't, have, that to don't have to log into Facebook, Facebook to get to the page. to get to the page. So, so we've heard in the past, heard in the past that, using that using your personal, personal Facebook, Facebook account to do business with meta, business with meta not a great experience. not a great experience. So we wanted to make so sure that you could get to the page without being without being logged in. Okay. Okay. So if you look at the so bottom, look at the bottom um, it's a little blurry. It's a little blurry. But you can but see that there's a bottom, that there's a bottom, which, bottom says, which says um, sign in with sign in hearing DB. Hearing DB. So so if you if you ah oh, there's a bigger ah oh, there's a bigger one. If you see it, you see it. If you click it, you click it. Redirect redirect it to peering DB. Peering DB. So, so we're on Facebook. We're on Facebook. Now we're on now we're on DB. Peering DB. And we're using what's called what's called DB. Peering DB. It's a service a service where you can sign you can sign in with your peering DB account and we'll trust the results that we get from peering DB. Peering DB to say that you say that you are say you are say you are. So instead of using a Facebook account, you can now use peering DB account. Anyway anyway, if you sign in if you sign in. 
can be redirected, can be redirected to another page, to another page again, on, again on hearing db, where basically, where basically you authorize Meta, meta to collect, to a little, collect a little information, information about yourself. About yourself. This, is your, this is your name, your name your email, address, email address, so address, so you communicate with you about your request, your request. and then the list, and then of, networks the list of networks that you're allowed, that you're allowed to request, to request for. hearing for. So once we have so that, once we have if that, you click authorize, authorize you'll be sent you'll back, be back to facebook.com slash period, where you can see, you can see the log in view with, with the public, public hearing public requests, hearing requests options. options. So, so, so you click on the you click on the public hearing button. button. Now, now you'll, now see, the you'll see the following widget, widget here. If you look at the top, look at the top there's, your ASN. there's your ASN. If you have multiple, you have multiple ASNs, ASNs in hearing DB, hearing DB, you'll be able to select one from the list. list. There's also an there's email, also contact. email contact. This is this defaults to whatever, whatever you have, whatever in, hearing you have in hearing DB. But of course, but you, can of course change, you can change another address, another address you prefer to, use. Prefer to use. And then down below, and down you'll, below see you'll see all of the public, of the public hearing, sessions hearing sessions that you that you have with Meta, have with Meta and that you could, and that you have, with could have with Meta. So if you look at the so top, you look here, at the top here, you can see you can see you've got the you've got the IX IDs, got the sites, you've got the you've got the traffic, and then you've got then you've got status of the status of the session. So all of these are not configured. If they were they were configured, you'd be able to see the traffic. Levels and other facts and other about facts about so so let's say you want to let's say you want to request period. Period. what do you do what do you do well, well you can select you can on the select side, on the side which exchanges which exchanges which you'd, like, which to you'd peer. like to peer by default by default we'll set up peering, we'll set up peering everywhere. everywhere but if you only but want if you only want to peer at one location you just change you just the change checkbox. the checkbox and after that and after that you click start start public start public down the corner and then your request and then your request will land in our queue I'll talk about I'll talk about the queue a little later but Suppose to say Spice all, to you, say, have to all you have to do is fill out the form. Here's a close Here's up a view. Close up view. These again are These again all are not configured, but if you had if you had sessions with us, you could also come to this page to see What's the status what's the of status my, my BGP session? Are we exchanging are we exchanging the traffic? traffic? I expect that information that information will all be, will all be here as well. All right, so this all right, is so this is public, public, public peering. Um, again, where you needed a router. Let's say you wanted to say you wanted private peering, private direct direct connection with us. Well, well. Come on. Come on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, um, well, we've got a well, form, got a on, form Facebook on Facebook.com slash peering, slash peering for, that as well. for that as well. Qualify, you qualify. You'll be able to, see, be able the to see the request, request private, peering private peering page. page. It's, it's fairly similar, fairly to, the similar to the public peering. You can see you've, you still, can got see your you've still got your ASN. You've still got your, still email, got your email. But instead of but seeing all of the IXs where, where you could peer, you'll see all of the facilities in the drop down. And you can select any facility from the drop down. You'll see any existing lags you have with us. And then at the bottom, you'll see an option to add more capacity. So you just pick just how many pick lags, how many lags, number of circuits, number of circuits speed, and speed, click the create, click new the create lag, new lag, and again, and again that'll, land in, that'll land in our queue. So we've got the same we've thing, the thing for augment, which, which, you know, instead of you know, adding, instead a, new of adding a new one at the bottom, you just, you just select the lag, select the lag, lag that you would like to augment, or augment add capacity, or add capacity, to, capacity to, and you'll be able, and you'll be able to do that down below, and it will land, and it will land in the queue. So, so the whole point of this project was to make sure to make sure that. Um, the peering um, on peering on no longer had, no to, longer had to observe the peering the mailbox, mailbox as closely as closely as so what do we do what do we do if you write to peering at facebook.com at Facebook at Facebook well well we've set up a we've service, set up a service which, which takes everything in everything that in that inbox categorizes categorizes automatically, automatically based on the based on the content into Peering requests, caching requests, caching requests, caching requests, various other various categories. other categories, and then for everything, then for everything to say deemed deemed a, a peering request, peering request, we reply we reply back, back automatically automatically with the following with the following message here. You, know, you know, thank you for your thank you for your interest in peering. In peering. Please send us please send us any peering, peering requests on our dedicated, on our dedicated page, page at Facebook slash peering slash peering. So so it redirects it redirects back to the back to the page we've set up we've set up which saves which saves some time some time because we no longer have no longer have to carefully reply to every email and also it also use some time, use some time because you no longer because you have, no longer to, wait have to wait for us uh, to set up uh, to set up you can just request, you can just request it yourself. So, so a little more a little about more what about actually what actually happens to your request, to your request after, you've, after submitted you've submitted it. So as you can so see, as you can top, see at the top, there are a couple of different ways to get to, get to the peering on Facebook.com/slash peering. You can write. You to can write to peering db. Or sorry, peering sorry, at peering at fb. Fb. Com, be redirected. Be redirected. You can go straight you can to go straight to the page and do the peering db oath. Or if you or have, if you have network, network portal partner with us, portal with us, you can also you do can it also there. do it there. Regardless, yes. regardless. Once you submit, once you the, peering submit form, the peering form, your request your request will land in our queue. This is just this an is internal list of all the requests that we've gotten. 
we set it up we set it up to make sure that our automation is doing what we expect you know we're not we're not deleting sessions sessions misconfiguring configuring and so and so once something lands in the queue we'll offer we'll offer with another with another automated service we made an approval approval suggestion sort of a sort of a what do you think what do you think we ought to do with this request approve it approve it reject it reject it we flag it flag it for human review and then based on that based on that suggestion and confidence in it will either it will either automatically process or or it will be flagged for by a human. By a human. Then, if then, approved, if approved, we'll run our we'll run automated, our automated um, hearing configuration, configuration which, just, which just sets up the sets sessions, up the for, sessions us, for us. It's with the peers, with the peers, and you'll get some and you'll get automated some automated, automated communication. communication. You know, if you've appeared you know, with, you've with us before, we send you some emails. You some emails say, say, hey, we've configured, hey, we've configured the, sessions. the sessions. Hey, please configure, hey, please your, configure side. your side. Hey, we see that hey, the following, the following have sessions have come up. You know, that's all done. That's all done automatically. So, so throughout all of throughout all of this. We've removed, um, we've removed a lot of work from our peering on call, which lets them, which do, lets other, them do other more interesting, more, interesting, more impactful, more impactful work. And hopefully, and hopefully we've, we've saved a lot of time, time well, for you as well, because you, you don't have to. You can do it on, demand. Do it on demand. So, so I've talked a lot, I've talked about, a lot how, about how much time how much and how great, and how great the system, system has been. Let's see some actual, see some stats, actual right? stats, right? So the impact since April of last year, last year we started this. We've gotten 6,400 emails. From those, from those, we've ended up, we've ended up with 2,400 automated, automated requests, requests to our system on Facebook.com on slash peering. From those, we've, from those approved we've approved 2,200 of them, which has resulted, which resulted in, in over 22,000 sessions automatically, automatically configured. configured. So that's an enormous, that's an amount, enormous amount of time, amount we, of time saved we saved for the on-call. Hopefully, hopefully, for you as well, for you as well, no since you no longer have to wait for us to do this manually. Um, and it's been, um, and it's letting, been letting our on-call do lots of more impactful, more, impactful, more interesting, work. interesting. So it's been so it's been really working really great for us so far. So there were a couple, so there were a couple of considerations we had while setting, while setting up this. First off, first off, like I said before, said before we wanted to make, sure that, to make sure that there was a queue. Um, we didn't um, want to just figure sessions, figure sessions really nearly without, nearly without a human looking, a human at, looking them. at them. So, so to start off, to start with, off every with every request was reviewed, was reviewed by, a human, by a human. Gradually, gradually we're moving to more automated, automated, approvals. automated approvals. This would be the case, would be the let's, case say, let's say, where you come to us come and, to you're, us and you're, you're requesting sessions at an exchange where you already have some. That could probably that be, could auto probably be auto approved. Or for example, or for example, you have route, you have server, route traffic server traffic and you're requesting, and you're requesting for session. Maybe that could Maybe be that auto approved. Auto there are a couple of there different, couple cases, of different right? cases, right? Second off, second off, we're relying we're on relying on peering for the authentic the authentic. This is again, this is again. So you don't have to you use don't have Facebook, to use your Facebook account. account. Um, but is this okay? Is this okay? Um, in the end, um, in the end, we decided, decided you know, we already already rely on peering data, data for, for all of the tools, all of the that, tools that we use for automation. 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 So adding an so extra, adding extra reliance, reliance was, fine. was fine. And then finally, and finally. Um, we've heard, um, in, the we've past, heard in the past, you know, using your personal, using your personal Facebook, Facebook for, business, for business, not a great experience. Not a great experience. So we wanted, so we wanted to be certain that you could get, to, you the could get to the page without using, without using your, personal your personal Facebook account. There were a couple, were of, a couple components of components required. required. I wanted to just I go, over to go over them in case you also would like to set up something, like something like this. The different things, the different that, things that we need and you would need. First off, first off, we need a tool to generate the config files per peer. Then you'll need some then you'll automation, need some automation to push those to push config those files, files, files onto the routers. Onto the routers. To make sure everything make sure works, everything works you'll, need you'll need a system that will monitor, monitor the status, monitor the status, of, status of, of the sessions. HGP sessions. And then you'll also, then need, you'll some also need some kind of workflow, workflow engine to coordinate, to coordinate all of the different steps, steps of peering up peering. That's the, that's the back end side, back end side. on the front you'll end. You'll also need, need some kind of landing page, page maybe like facebook.com slash peering, where your peers can come to request the HGP sessions with you. So, so you should try this you out. Try this out too. You find too. yourself facing the similar, similar um, hearing request, hearing request scaling, problems scaling problems that we've had. That we've had. You know, the you advantages, know, advantages are you and your you peers, and your peers, peers can see all of their, all of their sessions, sessions in one place. In one place. Um, it's easy. Um, it's easy to new figure new sessions. Hopefully, sessions. Hopefully, everybody everybody already has a peer account. account. And setting up and the setting peering up the peer DB OAuth was actually was actually quite easy. It took us about a day. There are great there are great instructions on the peer DB website. It was pretty simple. It was pretty simple. Other people other people are also using the peering DB OAuth now. Like IXP manager and manager and hearing manager, so working quite well, quite well. And finally, you know, finally, you know. Automation saves, time. Saves, it time. saves us, but it also saves, it also you, saves you time. Everything is self-service self self -service now. now. Um, um, on that note, on that note, we'd love to see a couple of these things become the industry standard.
Is it coming? Is it coming? Ah. First off, first off, we'd love to see, love to see DB, DB off, off um, login, login, DB standard, DB standard for networking, networking requests, requests, you know, you know? Um, um, everybody in the everybody community, for the most part, the most has, part a has a peering DB, so rather than, so having, rather than to having to remember, remember, you know, a hundred you know, different passwords for hundred different, different, different partners, partners, if everybody just, if everybody just, just used this one, one, it would be easy, would for, be everyone. easy for everyone, we think of the community, think of the community. Second off, second off, um, we'd love, um, to, see we'd love to see more of this that we've made, that we've made similar and similar open source, source tools. Open source you know, tools. A lot you know, exists a lot today. Exists today. Peering manager, peering manager, peering DB OAuth is open source. Is open source. Is instead of peering, instead of peering DB, tools, DB tools, um, improvements, um, improvements to those benefit, those the, benefit whole the whole community. So it'd be great to so see those. See those. And, then finally, and then finally, we've been working we've been with a couple other companies on establishing a programmatic API for peering. So right now, right now, right. A human still, a human has, to still has to come to our page or to another page, to, another page um, to request, um, to request peering. peering. What if instead, what if instead for larger scale, larger requests, scale requests, we could just let we could just two let computers, two talk, computers to talk, talk to each other directly, directly um, and have um, them have them through an API, through an API request peering, request peering, 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 peering exchange, exchange about, about, peering, about peering, that kind of thing. That kind so of thing. we're working so on this right now. Right now, if you're interested in this kind of thing, please come talk to me I'd love to chat with you about it. You about it. We're looking for looking for any at all any at all interested parties. So over to you, Diego. Over to you, Diego. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so, okay, so uh, uh, this is only, this the, is beginning. only the beginning. Uh, we have put in this, put in this form, form to request for private or public with us, but with us, we want but to continue doing things like this. Like uh, this. We like uh, we like quite a bit, quite a bit. So the next thing, so we're, next doing thing we're doing is, is coming to, come to your browser, your browser is, very soon. is, is a, a, similar a similar form to request participation in the caching program that we have. Currently, we receive requests by email account at fda.com. And, and we're gonna we're gonna have the same process, the same process, process with the we've been public 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 request we're gonna move these to the same, to the same uh, uh, website website the facebook.com slash peering there will be another be another button request and request participation in the program just just if you didn't get it you didn't get it that's the link that's the link and now we're open now we're open for questions any questions? We have time for a couple of questions for our speakers. I think Douglas Fisher is over there. Questions in Spanish, English, or Portuguese, whatever language. Hello, I was going to ask the question in Spanish, but Thomas doesn't allow me to do so. So I'll ask my question in Portuguese. First of all, I would like to. Repeat the recommendation that you made in the sense that all the INDBs should use this peering as a basis for authentication. And basically, this is valid for all. There are sufficient ISPs and like IX. So this would be a condition that should be imposed. This is very important. But I have a question. You spoke about automating peering of the BGP sessions, and we are aware that there are additional difficulties, namely to prepare the physical layers, layers 2, layers 3, the linked layers, and so we speak about BGP sessions on a multilateral network, then everything is ready, but if you have PNIs, the physical layer has to be prepared. So how can you align those two things in the flow? And adding on to this, this automation system, Facebook has open source. Now, is part of this automation process, for example, available? Obrigado. So that other companies can adopt Obrigado. it. Thank you. Yeah, I will respond there in Spanish or English because I don't understand perfectly. I understood this perfectly well. Sabe, I think um, I may be able to answer in uh, Spanish. Let me say that yes, so this, is, this is going correct. Switching into uh, English. Uh, the, when PNI, there is a PNI to be established, to be established you have a physical part of it. Part of it. Uh, right now, uh, the right now the automation is what is doing putting the request, the request into our, into our uh, queue, queue to be reviewed and approved. And approved. And when it's and approved, it's approved, it just kicks off the same provisioning process, process that, that you would do for, for anything else. Internally uh, internally creates a ticket for our provisioning team. Actually, the PNI request also asks, depending on the situation, but you may have a LOA. 
uh, for us, uh, for and us, and the demarcation, the demarcation, the demarcation like, like, for like all the, all the, all the, all the everything that's like a copy paste. It's tried to be taken care, 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 care of by the form, and she's and she's uh, fire uh, fire the, the, the ticket the or ticket the operation or operation system, system that will be that will be a human requesting cross connect cross connect somewhere. I mean, if if all the all the the providers had. A, a website or, or an API, API that would API that receive, receive cross, connect cross connect requests automatically. automatically that, would great, that would be great, but, uh, right? but uh, yeah, not quite there. Not quite there. Yeah. yeah. And then the other and question, the other that, question that one is Jenny, for Jenny. It's about, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. yeah. And the other question, and the other question was about if it was open. Uh, any other code? Any is other open code is open? Shares. Yeah. So yes, great question. Great question. Unfortunately, none of the code is open source. There's a lot of open source tools. Um, a lot of it relies on our custom, custom infrastructure, infrastructure, but there's a lot, but of, open a lot of open source tools that can do the same, can do the same thing. thing. And the, the programmatic, programmatic API, API that, we that we are working on will be open, will source, be open source, source once it's, once it's been developed. Thomas Lynch for the last yes. question. My question is, you present the um, system for us, us for to us request to you. Request to you. Peering. How do you How request, do you request peering, or you do not request, do not request peering, peering? That's a great question. That's a great question. Um, um, yeah, it, it's yeah. Uh, the volume, the volume of, of our request going, request out, is going out is smaller, smaller than the amount of requests we, request we had to receive. To receive. Uh, we do have uh, we do some have things some things automated. automated, automated like for example, example, when we, when we uh, are connected, are connected at, NIX, at NIX, we do have a feature, do have a feature that, we call, that we call it top up, which is run a, which is run a, a command, a and it will and will also send an email an email to every member. Every member that, that, imagine we have imagine we have like two routers two routers at NIX, and only one only one has a session, and the other one is the other one is not configured. So that so that automatically detects those cases and email to email to everyone that everyone does not have the second session second session configured information information how configured. We also push the also configuration, push the configuration inside, inside, inside our partner, the partner. So that's pretty nice. That's feature. pretty nice feature. But other than, but that, other than that, like ENI requests, requests, uh, we usually uh, send, we manually, send manually, but we do have, but some, we do have some internally, some internally, some internally, internally uh, for P9s that, that we already have. We already have uh, it's easy for uh, us, easy for us to trigger a request, a request for, uh, for an upgrade. It will also it will kick, kick off like an email, like an email there, like hey, like hey, you are a capacity, you are a capacity, you would like to add some more. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the question. Thank you for the question. Bueno, bueno. Eh, vamos a so tener una now we have pregunta. time for one final question. This lady has come up to ask a question, so you have the floor. Buenos días. Good morning, I'm Joanna Castro from Columbus Networks. Is there some kind of tool that can be used by the peers in order to identify the traffic flow from Facebook towards the personal network of each peer? O sea, la, la, la pregunta so es si is, en lugar de, de querer pedir el peering, si es peering ver el tráfico. No, no. nosotros tenemos peering en diferentes puntos de nuestra red, en diferentes países. Y me gustaría saber si hay alguna manera de poder identificar por dónde está el tráfico de downstream, por dónde está yendo hacia nuestra red. Es más cuando tenemos problemas para identificar los links. Esto es más cuando tenemos identificar los links. Ah, bueno, eso es la pregunta. ¿Puedo responder en inglés? Puedo responder en inglés, así también entiende bien. Exacto. Se entiende bastante bien español. Sí. Voy a responder en inglés. Voy a responder en inglés. Así que, si tú ya tienes sesiones configuradas o PNI establecidas, y tú vas aquí, tú vas a ver la cantidad de tráfico de edge location, ¿verdad? Y si en ciertos casos tienes acceso al network partner portal, que todo el mundo que tiene cash tiene acceso, y que algunos de los partners que tienen PNI tienen acceso, You can see, you can see a, lot of a lot of information that is not in the scope of this presentation, presentation but we share we performance, share performance uh, information, uh, information about the response, response of the map, a lot of data. Lot of data. Uh, but that's all uh, behind, that's all the, behind network the network partner, partner portal. And the next and thing the next we're going to be adding next, next year, next year, 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 is year is trace, trace route information from, 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 all, the from all the locations where we see the prefixes. But that's only if you have login to the portal. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Bueno, bueno, pues con estas preguntas cerramos este bloque de presentaciones. Una pausa para nuestros presentadores. A big round of applause for our speakers.